What's up guys? This is Lewis from the Video Game Autopsy. And I'm making this video for any reviewer or any critic or anybody who just wants to record footage on the HOG HD PVR, but they want to record it from an older system such as the Super Nintendo, the Genesis, the NES, and a lot of other cartridge based systems. Now, I'm not sure if many of you know this, but um, but anyone who has a POG HD PVR and if you've tried to record footage straight through it, well, like let's say like a Super Nintendo or an NES, you will know that the POG HD PVR will only pick up maybe about mere seconds of the footage before it eventually stutters, jitters, and eventually crashes. Now, I myself, I'm not aware of this reason. I'm guessing it has to do with something with the frame rate. And God knows, I've, I, I myself have tried this, I've tried changing the frame rate, adjusting little things, but it always ends up crashing. The most I've actually been able to capture myself is maybe about about 30 seconds before it jitters, stutters, and then just collides. Now actually, now there actually is a solution to this. It's kind of a costly one, but as far as I know, it's the only way it'll actually work. You actually can record footage off an older system through the HD PVR. The answer? A DVD recorder. Now before you say anything, there actually is another video besides this one out there of somebody recording uh, just some Genesis footage through a DVD recorder. And I myself was a little skeptical at first, but I've actually come to realize that it actually does work. I'm, I'm actually stunned. It really, really does work. But the, he also mentioned in the video that it will work with a VCR and I've tried with at least two different VCRs, a JVC and a Sony VCR, and I can tell you that that does not work, only a DVD recorder. And like he says in his video, it somehow stabilizes the footage. Again, I'm not really sure how it does it, but it makes it to the point where you actually can record like older footage through the HD PVR. But to do that, well, the way I have set up, you actually, actually daisy chain a bunch of stuff together to the point where it works. So enough talk. Let's get going. Alrighty, let's record some footage. Now as you can see I have three cartridge based systems here. We have an NES, a Super Nintendo, and a Genesis. Now the way this is all this is all connected is well of course since the top loader only uses the coaxial output, it does have to pass through the coaxial input on the back of my VCR. And then and then the other systems they all go to out to a composites which all has to pass through the DVD recorder and of course to record on the HD PVR the output on the DVD recorder has to pass through the HD PVR so if you're following along make sure you're taking some notes alright enough talk let's uh... let's record some footage already alright now we're gonna put uh... three games in each system for NES let's um... play some DuckTales alright for Super NES let's um... Yeah, let's go with my favorite Super Nintendo game, Super Metroid. All right, and for Genesis, really some Contra Hardcore. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you on the TV and on the computer just how the footage looks. All right, so uh, let's go. Yeah, there we go, people. That is, in fact, DuckTales on NES that I am recording right now through an HD PVR. So yeah, DuckTales. Alright, now uh, before we move on to the next game, I'm gonna try to get that million dollar treasure. Let me see, that little, ugh, this parts always, that jump always gets me. Huh, well, I guess it's kinda turned into a little let's play. Alright, for those of you who've never beaten the game, I'm gonna show you where to find the million dollar treasure. Yeah, you know you can actually get, yeah, oh, damn, epic fail right there. Sorry, I'm trying to manage watching both the uh, I'm trying to manage watching uh, three different screens. I'm trying to man look at my camera. I'm trying to look at uh, my computer recording the footage, and I'm trying to well, obviously watch the TV. And um, yeah, yeah. For those of you wondering right now, um, I actually uh, I actually can't see the footage on my computer. But the thing is, like, um, since it's recording, obviously it's a little slower. So if um, you're planning on recording footage like this, I do recommend just. Yeah, watch your TV, do not watch your screen or else you'll be wondering, how did I die? <laughs> Just kidding, bad joke. Okay, oh, I'm trying to be careful here. Ah. Okay, there we go. And that, folks, is where you find the first million dollar treasure guarded by the boss. And I say first because, well, it depends on what order you play the game in. I don't know, I always go to the moon first. 
Uh, sometimes I'll go in order, I'll go through the Amazon, and then I'll just, yeah, Amazon, Himalaya, and uh, African mines. Speaking of which, anybody ever wonder why you have to go to Transylvania three times anyway? Alright, enough of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how you kill that guy, so you don't take damage. Remember, when you go down that final rope, just pogo down the whole way down. Alright, do that. Hmm, I wonder how the HD remake of DuckTales is gonna be like. I don't know, it looks pretty- it looks okay, but... I don't know, I think I'll probably still prefer the NES version. Okay, that's enough of this. Alright guys, that was DuckTales for you. Next game. Alright folks, next game, Super Metroid. <laughs> Hands down my favorite Super Nintendo game. Alright. There we go, Super Metroid. Uh, I guess I'll play my last game. Uh, let me see. Yep, let's go. Alright, there we go. There's a ship, there's a screw attack. Let's go. Let's see if we can make it a mother brain in two minutes. Dodge those guys, Whoop. do the screw attack on the wall here. Go through that door. Run down here all the way. Screw attack those guys. Ah, oh, thank god. I usually take damage when those things fly through the door. Uh, you can just do this the whole way down, that's what I always do. Okay, come on. Da -da -dum. Let's run in there. Okay, let's do the super run. Or a speed run. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Wait for the bosses to fly. I'm just gonna screw attack around the air for a bit. Boop. 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 Don't touch the water. Yep. I always think that's cool how rarely these always standing on top of all those bosses. I don't know why. Oh, here's the cool part. Alright, come on. Come on, do it. Come on, do the cool part where you all sink into the water. <laughs> awesome. Okay. God, this game looks so good. Um, okay, let's go down. All right, whole elevator thing. Okay. Yeah, well, already stretching it over two minutes. Okay. All right. Let me see. But go through this door. You can go through that door if you want to save, but I don't need to save because, well, I don't want to save. Let's go here. And here's where we're gonna fight a Metroid. Yep, there you go. Yeah, I hate those things. Oh, oh, careful! Oh, shoot him! Ah! Yep. Yeah. 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 Sometimes even the Metroids get me. Yep. Oh, not this time, big boy. Yep. Gotcha. Anyway, yeah, that's a uh, Super Metroid for you. Record on the HD PVR. All right, next game. Alrighty, people, now we're gonna play some uh, Contra Hardcore. Alright, Sega Logo, Konami. <laughs> awesome. Ooh, Hardcore Contra. One player. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'll be Fang. I'm always Fang. Okay, here's our briefing. Yep. Security, Humman, Robot, I want you to proceed. ASAP, restore order. Let's go. I, don't know, I haven't actually played this game for a long time. Alright, let's go. But, 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 let's see if I still remember what to do. Yeah, but, 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 ooh. I actually talked to a friend of mine who played this. He says, oh, damn, I'm dead already. That's the thing. This game isn't called Hardcore for no reason. It's, yeah. Alright, 
Let's see if I can make it to the boss. Like I said, I haven't, forgive me if I'm playing bad. I'm not a bad Contra player. It's just like, ugh, 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 ugh. Ugh, I'm sorry, it's just like, oh, I haven't played this game forever. Ugh. Jeez, all the people on all those walkthroughs make it look so easy. Ugh, but it's not. Ugh. Okay. Sorry about that. You're just kind of nervous. Again, I haven't, I haven't played this game for, okay. This guy's pretty easy. Just sit. There you go. See? Easy little mini boss. Okay, Bebo, jump over that. Oh. Yeah, that's my thing. Be easier if this. Yeah. Alright. Alright, just shoot this guy and jump over him. Pretty easy. Jump! Jump right there, make, make that jump. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm a little on edge. Again, I don't I haven't played this game in forever. Wait, is there that? Yeah, like, here's a glitch here. If you keep going up this wall, his arm changes color. See? It's green, what? No, no, come on, do it again. I know this, I did a, yeah, see, it's blue, it's, see, like, right there, it's blue, it's turning purplish blue. Alright, do it again, come on. Ah, there you go. Same color. That's a funny little glitch. Show that to your friends, come on. That's cool. Alright, uh, yeah, alright, can, can we glitch it out again? Yep, it's green again. <laughs> awesome. Okay, now we got another boss. Just stand right here, just stand where I'm at, right here. And just point upward and just shoot. He'll be dead. Yep, just stand. Stand exactly where I'm standing in. His flames, his attacks will never hurt you. Ooh, what am I doing? Right, come on, guy. Hmm. Yep. Just do what I'm doing. Alright, I'd love, okay, love to play some more, but that, folks, I think I'm going to draw the line here. Anyway, yeah, let's Contra Hardcore on Genesis, record through the HD PVR. And so yeah, folks, that is how you record footage through the HD PVR. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.